Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. In today's videos I'm gonna share with you my language tools for German. So the main tool I use is Duolingo. As I've said before I know Duolingo isn't perfect but to accompany the sometimes somewhat confusing and really complete um, grammar notes that Duolingo gives I'm making my own grammar notes and if I miss something or don't understand something I will look up the rest that I need on the internet or ask a native if I know one. So my notes will be complete and I understand what is going on and not just repeat the silly sentences on Duolingo just for the fun of it. Um, for German I only have grammar notes, the other side is French. Um, because I've learned these languages in high school for quite a few years so I'm not making a vocabulary list for these two languages. Um, I do have however this tiny phrase book. I just love the way these look. Um, didn't really do anything with it yet. This one is for Western Europe. I'm not gonna buy a separate one for French and German but this one also contains German there <laughs> and yeah it's just really simple sentences that help you I think they're mostly like for going on holiday they work best for that just the simple sentences uh, divided into categories like food and drinks or going to a hotel something like that but they're just really tiny and really cute and maybe I'll one day use them to like practice vocabulary some more like old school writing down the sentences and then the translation stuff like that but for now they're just sitting pretty in my bookcase <laughs> so as I said Duolingo is the main source um, not been doing that much on Duolingo lately at least not for German and also not really for French my priorities right now are mostly Finnish but also Turkish and Romanian um, I do want to keep up with it though so that's why I also started both languages on Duolingo um, the skill trees are enormous though um, I didn't complain about it in my French video but they like triple that one and they added a lot of new skills to German now as well so I lost my golden owl and have to get it back again but yeah when you don't really learn a lot of German on Duolingo that's not happening anytime soon but that's okay um, next to that just like the French tutor I also have a German tutor and I absolutely love these things, they're really helpful, they give you a shorter explanation of the grammar, then give you a few exercises about that, then explain another part of grammar and again a few exercises to help you get the hang of it. And then at the end of the chapter you get a short text to read and answer questions about that are like, um, yeah, about the topic of grammar you just learned. And then at the end you even have to write a short essay about the topic of the unit. So it's really a lot together in one unit that helps you like get the hang of the language, like practice with the language, not just grammar but also reading and writing. And they're just amazing, these tutors. I love them. I've also made a few learning cards for German. Um, they're a bit more than French, as you can see. I have the very basics, the der Gruppe and the Ein Gruppe. Um, then there's also to have and to be, all the way around, but you know what I mean. I also added all the modal verbs and I added the dative and accusative and the dative accusative, um, what are they called again? Well, I think if you see the list, you know what I mean, I forgot the word. Prepositions, that's what they are. Hello light, please come back. There we are. Um, so I made a few of those as well. Um, they're mostly just to help me um, when I'm doing some grammar exercises, for example, in my German tutor, that I don't have to like browse through all my grammar notes, but I can just take these cards and put them next to me and just have the der Gruppe and the Eingruppe with me, for example, or, well, the modal verbs. 
This is all quite like lodged into my brain, but it's somewhere over there and I have to dig it up again. So it really helps to just have the basics with me in these learning cards. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I read Yakari und die Appaloosas live on video. Not all of it, but the first part. Um, it was a really fun comic and it was quite easy. Because for me, reading German isn't that hard because it's really close to Dutch. So if you don't completely understand it, it's mostly, um, well, often that it just looks like a Dutch word. So you kind of know what it means and from context it often becomes clear. And this is a comic, so that's even easier. I mean, it's mostly pictures and not a lot of text. So it wasn't that difficult. Um, I'm looking for something a little bit more difficult right now because I think I'll be able to read like a German novel. Not really a classic though, but novels should be doable because yeah, we also have this big boy, Mark Twain in German. Um, I've never read them in English, but I know Mark Twain isn't the easiest of books, the easiest, uh, easiest of authors, so I'm not really sure if I want to read these in German first. So I'm just looking for a novel of some sort, uh, but they're quite easy to come by here in the Netherlands because French and German are well both taught in high school and quite common so finding German books shouldn't be that hard. So I'm gonna do that very soon, I hope, um, and maybe read some more in German because Duolingo isn't gonna happen very soon. <laughs> and of course the same with French. There's also a lot on Netflix, on YouTube and all those other streaming things. Um, Freud has been on my Netflix list for quite a while. It's a series about, well, Freud and it looks really interesting. It's in German and I just really want to watch it to also like practice my German. I think I will understand like all of it at least most of it because as I said German isn't that hard for me since it's so close to Dutch um, but we'll see we'll see if they like really rush it out it might be a bit harder um, I also have some other movies in my list um, some war movies because somehow Netflix has German movies but they're all about the war um, but that's okay I'm quite interested in that topic in a way so I hope to watch those soon. One is called Nebel in August and the other one is 1939. Um, we'll just see if I like those movies, um, if I understand anything and if I will need to, to turn on subtitles or not. I'm planning on not doing that because, well, I think I will understand it without subtitles. Maybe add German subtitles but Adding Dutch or English subtitles might be too much um, and yeah if I just want something simple I'll just turn to YouTube for some Winx Club in German because well apparently there's a Turkish, a French and a German well channel with Winx Club. Well it's officially Italian by the way <laughs> and yeah, I could always watch that if I would just want something simple but still sort of practice my German. But yeah, as I said, plenty to find. Um, plenty of German series, plenty of German movies all around. So plenty to watch. So I hope you enjoyed this video of me talking about my language tools for German. Um, let me know if you use any of these, if you like any of this. Um, if you use anything different, let me know in a comment down below. Maybe we can help each other out with finding good tools to learn our languages. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And then I'll see you in the next one, next Friday. Bye!